Hey friends, it's Rob Appel from Making It Fun, and we're only going to be in the studio for a few moments today. That's right, I've got a really fun special presentation for all of you. You know at Michael Miller Fabrics we have incredible cotton prints. Some of it we do in-house in our studio, and then the rest of it we have licensed designers. I want you all to meet some of our fabulous licensed designers. These are part of our April fabric release for 2021. What that really means is these are going to start shipping from uh, basically July all the way through November of 2021. So if you like what you see here, please run into a local quilt shop, give everybody a hug, tell them Mike says hello, and uh, let them know about these fabulous prints you just saw right here in our designer showcase and making it fun. Michael Miller Fabrics, enjoy meeting our awesome licensed designers. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Dujets and I'm here to talk about my newest collection from Michael Miller Fabrics, a bushel and a peck. The inspiration behind this line is easy. I had a baby! <laughs> this is Eleanor. The nursery I designed for her is white and gray, with bright accents of color dispersed throughout the room. When I was trying to decide what kind of artwork to put up, <laughs> I thought some cute fruit drawings would be fun and versatile. So I drew them up in the weeks before she was born, and in the end, I decided to add some faces to turn them into playful characters. I have an example here. We have a whole bunch of these hanging in the nursery. I think she likes them. When it came time to start on my next fabric line, I thought, why not turn them into a collection? And here we are today. I completed this line while I was on maternity leave, so I was feeling especially inspired by all the cute baby toys and patterns and everything I was surrounded by at the time. I loved the idea of adding in a picnic blanket check, which is what inspired the plaid design. Uh-oh, someone's antsy. I was tempted to put some ants in there too, but in the end, I thought it would be best to keep the line focused solely on the fruit and their relationship to one another. Uh-oh. There are some really usable patches here, my favorite being the large one on the panel. It would be perfect as the center focal point on a quilt. The smaller patches on the continuous yardage are great too. Each one fingered, ooh. Each one features a single fruit, and I tried to make sure I varied the background colors for each character, so you have a nice array of options to mix and match in your project. As always, these motifs were drawn digitally, so they're really crisp and clean. I added a subtle bit of texture to each of them so they don't appear completely flat, which I think helps to give them some life. I hope these fruity friends bring you as much joy as they do for us. Thanks for watching! Say bye! We're working on it. I'm Deanne and I'm an artist and illustrator living in Canada. The collection Camping Life was so much fun for me to make um, because I grew up camping with my family every weekend. When the sun was shining we were hiking or fishing and if it rained we were under a tarp playing cards or telling stories. So when I had my own kids I wanted them to have the, the same experiences that I did growing up. And I mean, as you can see in the picture, like my kids were young. We took them, I think Ryan started camping. His first trip was when he was about three, three months old. And Jordan, she was in the little carrier there. She was about maybe six weeks old. So they started really young. And I mean, they really did grow up around a campfire. They roasted marshmallows, they played in the mud, they caught their own supper. We really made so many great memories um, just going camping and just being in, in the outdoors. So when it came for me to make this collection, it was pretty easy to draw inspiration. These were the pictures that I grabbed right away and um, just started drawing all these fun little 
icons and campers and things from there. So um, I think back a lot to these times just because my kids got to be kids and we really got to bond as a family. I hope you love camping life as much as I do and I can't wait to see what you make. based in the north of England, UK, and this is my new collection for Michael Miller Fabrics Bake Sale. Uh, now this is close to my heart, it's inspired by growing up baking with my mum and now baking with my own children and um, the chaotic fun of that, mostly chaotic, um, and, and sharing what you have made uh, because essentially when something is homemade, whether it be a cake or a quilt, it, it just says I care and yeah I just want you to have fun with it um, add a bit of your own love to it and create something yummy for the ones you love. Thank you for watching. It's Emma Schoenenberg again from El Salvador. I wanted to stop by and talk to you about um, our latest collection that we did for uh, Michael Miller. Uh, it's called I Love You No Matter What. There's a little play of words there, and if I say it slowly, you'll probably guess what the theme is. I love you gnome, matter what. So yes, it was gnomes. And I wanted to show you a little bit about my process. I'm uh, old school, I love to draw, I love my sketchbooks. Uh, and I like to draw first by hand. Um, seldomly I use tracing paper, but for this collection I drew a lot of, <coughs> sorry, gnomes uh some of the sketch sketches that i did for for the collection then i scan them in i primed the drawing and uh redraw everything and then i went ahead and transferred them to uh, watercolor paper and painted them some of them some of them were not some of them <laughs> they were not selected but um uh, yes, I wanted to show you a little bit about my process and a funny fact about uh, the gnomes. You guys know that I adore flowers. I love, I'm obsessed with uh, flowers. But once in a while I draw characters. And one of the things that I loved, <clears throat> even though here in El Salvador gnomes is not a common thing, the theme, um, one of the things that I loved about the gnomes, the gnomes per se, are adorable, but I thought that I could avoid drawing faces with these guys. But I wanted happy gnomes. So what I did was, yes, look into the decoration, how I can um, 
play with the shapes of the hats, the pom-poms, but focus on having happy mustaches. about um, our latest collection with Michael Miller. I love you no matter what. I hope you love them as much as we do. Um, and um, from this side of the world, from El Salvador to everybody, muchas bendiciones, muchísimo amor para todos. Stay safe and stay healthy. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with, your beautiful projects with this collection. Please show us. Um, and um, yes, we love you no matter what. Take care, you guys. Bye. Hi, I'm Diane Kappa, and I'm here today to talk to you about my latest collection with Michael Miller Fabric titled Bluebird. The main print in this collection is the Bluebird Cherry Blossom print. A watercolor tile and tonal damask complement the main print. The ticking stripe and the tiny foulard blenders are reminiscent of menswear business shirts and ties. There are flowers, leaves, tile prints to complete the collection. The panel print is important to this collection. I created this with the idea of cutting out the images and using them as pillow fronts, stretching them over a frame to create wall art, or using them as larger pieces sewn within a quilt. I hope you like Sewing with Bluebird and I look forward to seeing how it inspires your creations. Wow, you are still there. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. <laughs> I know, I get a little long-winded sometimes. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you check out a few of the other ones we've created. I think they're terrific. And of course, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the little bell to be notified. I don't want you to miss a moment of the fun. Stay safe and happy sewing.